Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, welcome back to a new video. Um, my name is Teresa, if you haven't met me before, you know, that's fine, it's grand. Sit down, get yourself a cup of tea. I have for this video, I mean it's drank now, but like I drank it throughout. Um, today I'm looking at XX Revolution. I have made several orders with XX Revolution. I made some via Boots, I made some via XX Revolution themselves. Weirdly the order via Boots are the ones that have arrived a week, more than a week later after my order from XX Revolution. I am still waiting on it. I am based in Ireland, um, so that may be part of it. But I do have some stuff to share with you today. I will be doing a wear test on this. So, you know, if you want to know how the foundation, the concealer, etc., wears, you know, we'll have a little chat on that. But what it is that I'm using is the Mahusuf X Extravaganza palette. Um, I'm not taking swatches because I will be here for five years. It is the rainbow palette. It takes up a big shot of the frame. Let's be real. And if you have watched me on my channel before, you will know. <laughs> I'm living for the greens. So naturally, I had to use the greens when I was playing with them. Um, I also have, if I can find it, yes, the Duochrome Eyeshadow. It is essentially called the XX Charged Duochrome Eyeshadow and I got it in the shade Stimulate. So if you want to see me swatch that and actually use it on the eyes, this is what I'm here to do. I also got the um, Liquid Skin Foundation in Double Fix Foundation in FX 0.05 because I am Casper. I am very, very pale. So part of this is a wear test as well. And I got the... Um, Conceal XX Super Fix uh, Concealer in the shade CX05, I believe, or sorry, CX0.1. Uh, the uh, Glow Fix uh, Luminous Loose Setting Powder, I also used that. And I have the Glow Fix Brightening Fixing Mist. So I used all of these products on myself to see what it is that I think of them. Uh, if you like the lip, by the way, it is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Pioneer. So if you want to see how I did this particular look, if you want to see me review these and see in particular in terms of the face products, uh, because obviously I used a fixing spray as well, as to just how well they are wearing throughout the day, then this is the video for you. So sit back, grab a cup of tea, maybe a snack. I'm not going to judge. We're all snacking. Um, but I will see you guys in a little bit for the rest of the video. Don't judge me, my skin is being a bit weird at the moment, so actually if anything it makes it a much better test than usual. <laughs> it all works out. So I have quite a few things from XX Revolution, unfortunately not the whole thing that I've ordered um, because I split my order between going through Boots and going through Revolution Beauty. I ordered it from Boots a day after I ordered from X. XX Revolution, but my stuff from XX Revolution hasn't arrived yet. So we have a few things at least, and I think enough that I can do an almost full face of uh, products. I have primed my eyes already. Ugh, I'm just putting all of this down here, so um, yeah, it's a bit messy. I have the XX Dravaganza. X extravaganza because of course they're XX Revolution so they had to make loads of puns about XX. You know, could have been far more XX rated thankfully so uh, we'll, you know, we'll take it as it is. I love how they haven't like named their shadows, they've just called them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's like, oh okay, is that, is that what we're doing now? And apparently I can't take it out of the box. That's just the day that I'm having. Come on. <gasps> I'm strong and crafty. So, if somehow you've been living under a rock, which, you know, no judgement here, this is what this palette looks like. It is huge. Shall we take off the plastic coating together? Yeah, we're friends, we'll, we'll do this. I feel like I want to sneeze, but I, I really don't want to. Oh! There we go. And I will throw that on the floor. So that is what that looks like. I mean, it is, well, I thought there was a weird smell off it there for a second. 
it's it's a rainbow palette let's let's be real so i did get some of the quads but i figured i would use the big big extravaganza today i've got tea no i'm not spilling any because i'm irish and that would be uh tantamount to throwing a potato out of the window we just don't do that kind of thing here like it's just it's unacceptable not okay um so i figure we'll just head straight into it like let's let's play with some things let's be fancy um i also have the duo chrome here as well that i would like to try so i have this anastasia beverly hills uh, a5 brush i know where am i going with a fancy brush who knows Certainly not me. And I want to go into, I think, this shade. Yeah, it's like it's taking up a big chunk of the of the frame, isn't it? Oh well, it's easier because then you don't have to look at me. I have already primed my eyelids, so how much is that taking up? Oh, a little bit. Okay, let's do this. I'm not pinning my hair back because I've just washed my hair and if I pin it back, that's it. I'll never get the shape of the fringe back again. You know, like if you have a similar issue with your fringe. I wish I had a lovely full fringe, but I don't. This is the best it looks. I'm going to say it, it looks pretty good today. Because straight after this, I have a work meeting. It's early in the morning, so yeah, I'm getting all of this done beforehand. Pigment is pretty good. Um, if you look at it from different angles, it kind of seems to catch the light. Um, my friend Rebecca also got this X Extravaganza palette and she was filming it with it last night and I of course whinged at her and I'm like, please do a green eye look. And because she is the best person ever, she actually listened to me. So I know that she did that and she filmed it for her own channel. So the likelihood is that will be up by the time I am uploading this, because I'm hoping to upload this on a Tuesday. So if it is, I'm going to link both her channel and her video on XX Revolution, the XX Extravaganza. But I will also say that she's done a huge XX Revolution haul. So I will also link that down in uh, my description box because it's so good. She basically does like a full face of um, XX Revolution. She just got it really quickly. I was like, oh, how? How, you wizard? I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous at all. Still waiting on stuff from XX Revolution. I'm like, why? I love waiting. I'm not a patient woman. <laughs> I really am. I really, really am. It's one of the really negative things about me and my personality. I mean, there's lots of negative things about me, but you know, that one, it's not something I like about me as a person. That's fine. I like the, the way that that's coming up. I am using my color switch. I need to clean all of my brushes soon. Um, and I need you to not judge me for that. I am going into this shade now um with the same brush because that's who i am as a person and it's fine it's just fine but i do have a staff meeting i mean it's on zoom but like you know still i have to convince them that like i don't know i'm an adult and i'm professional how are you guys finding all of that are you working from home are you furloughed? Have things changed so massively in the few days since I filmed this and uploaded this that that's no longer and it would be like a question to ask? Are we free yet? I doubt it. Although restrictions are being lifted here, so that's kind of cool. I will be going back to Cardo soon, um, so this setup will no longer be a thing. So that's kind of exciting for me. I don't know how you guys would feel about it but I'm, I'm excited about it. You can definitely get some nice depth with that, like even the way it's meshing in with that. I think it's quite nice. Hey. 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use these two colours here. This one and this one. No, none of it got on my finger. I'm happy. So I'm going to mesh the two together because that's the sort of person I am. I haven't seen a massive amount of fallout yet, so that's nice. Yes, I like that. I am happy. So, we also have this, uh, should I put my glasses back on? Yeah, so we can make eye contact. <sighs> We're doing well so far, you know. It's early in the morning. We've only questioned our life's choices like three or four times. That's good. I look really weird. I also, my skin must be weird. I have the... Uh, Skin XX Makeup, is, which is what it's called, XX Charged um, Duochrome Shadow, and it's in the shade Stimulate, which is a, apparently a green. Now, when I opened this the other day, because Saw's guys, I did check, because by the way, one of the quads arrived smashed and damaged from Boots, and I got onto the phone to them, and they were absolutely fantastic. They sorted the whole thing out ASAP. I was very, very impressed with them. I just thought, yeah, fantastic customer service. Well done them. Um, so this is, I mean, it's tiny, isn't it? Now, for reference, I'm a very small woman. My nose isn't that big, but this is the size of this. I think this is wildly expensive for what it is, but that is my opinion. Will we do a little swatch a room on my hand? Just so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like. So it's a purple to green. You are picking up the green. I could, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the purple. So what I want to do is I want to use this brush. It is the Morphe M508. And I want to use that to sort of, I'm not even going to bother officially cutting the grease because there was nothing to like, put the grease with on XX Revolution. I didn't bother getting any of the pigments um, because the pigments were just so expensive. And um, as again Rebecca points out in her video, you can get some amazing indie brand for a fraction of the price, such as K Rose B. I'm actually going to link them down in the description box. They're a really nice little indie brand if you want to get some pigments from them. That'd be the way to go. Yeah, quite like that. Some boat. I mean, that's okay. I wouldn't say that there was anything wildly special about this. Um, I have dual chrome shadows. Not liquid dual chrome shadows, but just like regular dual chrome shadows. And um, I even did a giveaway using Touch of Glam Zones. And uh, they are stunning. I don't think this is as nice, in my opinion. They're okay. Nothing to write home about. I do like the eyeshadow palette, but I think that's nice. This. Mm. I wouldn't be. wouldn't be wildly enthused on that. Don't hate me, that's just that's just my opinion. If you love them, fantastic. I am delighted for you. I, I want you to make purchases that you enjoy. I hate bad church purchases. You know, it makes me sad. I'm going to go and use the A5 again from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just going to swish between here. Just so that there's a gentle sort of a release there. I had ordered some of the Geochromatic Eyeliners, but they were from XX Revolution. So of course they haven't arrived, but I haven't heard great reviews on those, if I'm 100% honest. Um, I am going to put on, um, no, I'm going to wait a little bit to put on lashes. I didn't bother getting a primer, and I mean, I'm not great with primers, so I'm just going to use my Pixi one, and part of why I even just want to use a primer that I'm familiar with 
is that then I can more accurately judge how the foundation is uh, wearing. Please excuse my skin, it is being incredibly problematic at the moment. It's just like, hey, we see that your ovaries are working. Oh my god, that's great! And they're like, yeah. Just here's your receipt to show that it's working. And I'm like, I don't need a receipt. I don't need a receipt. Oh, damn it. So, yeah, this is what's happening. Tea break. So, I like the Pixie um, primer. You can also use it as skincare, which is quite cool. So, I house. I had ordered the Glow Skin. But are we surprised? That has not arrived yet. I'm just going to put a little bit of the NYX colour corrector. I have my. Bare Minerals Foundation Brush. I really enjoy applying foundation with a brush these days. I go back and forth between that and a beauty blender, but for the moment, not an actual beauty blender, but like say like the original Real Technique sponge, which I still have, because they've changed the formula and uh, it's not great, is it? So anyways, I got the XX Revolution Double Fix Foundation um, in FX 0.05 because I am pale and I figured I should be able to make that work for me. I had also ordered the Glow Skin, but again, ordered that by XX Revolution. So who knows? That may come 20 years from now. You know, there's a distinct possibility. But I do have a concealer here as well and um, a setting powder. I had ordered again blushes and stuff and highlighter, but again, that hasn't actually arrived. So it's a it's not quite a full face. Look at that! That looks so much like the Hourglass Foundation. It's not even funny. Uh, I mean, the packaging, beautiful. How on earth do I open this? Ah, oh, there we go. Ah! I was not expecting that. I was not expecting it to come out like this. Like, at all. Jesus Louise. It's after, like, coming all over me. No, I don't mean it like that. Or do I? Who knows? So I'm just gonna drop... Well, so I don't like that. I don't like that application. Sorry. <laughs> Straight off the bat like me. Look. Whatever. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. So, put the glasses up. You know. Um, part of this as well is going to be me doing a wear test with this because obviously I have work and granted now it is all like indoor work and you know but that's generally what my work would be um work as a lecturer and just a psychologist um the smell is not unpleasant I will say that but I, I am finding I'm needing a lot to kind of get coverage which is fantastic Colour seems to be an okay-ish shade match for me. Well, maybe a little bit too too light. Oh, I'm looking very Casper-y. Casper, the friendly ghost. Although I have gotten a little bit of colour because I have been outside. So, there we go. But once it's blending, it actually looks okay. And this, I don't know if this will oxidise, so... We'll soon see, shan't we, my friends? Shan't we? What about you guys? What have you picked up? Or what are you looking to pick up on this? Or are you just like, ugh, this is another silly makeup lunch. I have other things to do. In which case, well done. You're doing better than me. I have no self-control. None. None whatsoever. The smell is nice. Um, for for reference, I have quite normal skin. I'm 30 years old. You know, aging is happening. Death comes to us all. Um, I don't really have many skin problems. I obviously have the odd breakout, today included. Um, I'm very pale. I would take. Um, for in other revolutions, for instance, in the Revolution CC Cream Foundation, which was gifted to me by the beautiful Anne Marie, I got F1. In the um, matte base, I'm like F0.5. So I would be used to taking the lightest shade generally. Yeah. 
that, I mean, the coverage is nice. It dries down pretty well. I don't think you'd need much, or if any, setting powder. I mean, I'll be using a bit because I have some. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far so good. Please excuse me, just at my nose. I have this uh, Zoeva concealer brush as well. Uh, this is what I like to use for my concealer. And I did get the uh, Conceal XX Super Fix Concealer in the shade CX0.1. So, yeah. Let's see what that's like. Again, it's the same sort of a uh, packaging. So I'm wondering if it's going to have the weird little application like it did before. Probably. Oh. God, it took a while to pop that out. Okay, it has a nice doe foot. I couldn't even show you the last time because it was just so covered in product and it was just dripping all over the place. So I was like, nope, even got some of it onto uh, the eyeshadow palette. So there you go. I'm going to put a little bit, I only like to use my, use a bit on my under eyes. God, you can see the implant, implants, indentations, sorry, of where the glasses are. If you wear glasses wear, you know, you know, you know the struggle, you know the struggle. There. I'm going to use my Zoeva buffer concealer brush. This is a new one of purchase for me. It was actually gifted to me, but I really enjoy it. I really do. I do want to kind of set that. So I have the XX Revolution Glow F IXX Fix, Glow Fix, a Luminous Loose Setting Powder. And should I get that in a specific shade? Luster. Because that looked like it was the palest one. We'll see. Um, I got a message from my friend Elena because she also is was using them today. Well, technically yesterday because she's a couple of hours behind. It's a whole thing. I'm just trying to figure out things. But I woke up to the message of that today and she was like, oh, it was very glowy. And I was like, no, 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 don't tell me this. I need to have a, a fairly um, neutral opinion, unbiased, objective before I go in. And she's like, oh, whoops, sorry. Um, but also she is the shady queen. Um, again, I will link her channel down below. I love her. Oh my God, why can't I open this? Why can't I open this? Oh, okay. So it comes like this and has like a little puff. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, sorry, that was such a weird sort of a reaction. So then you open it and there's like a little um, tag that you have to get. If you don't have nails, it's gonna be difficult. Ooh, do you know what? This might be better as an all over face thing rather than like simply an under eye. So what I'm going to do, quick quick change of plan because I actually want to see what this is like, the, the concealer. I don't want to ruin my opinion of it or whatever so I'm just going to use an elf setting powder which I know is good it's the glow halo just put that under. because the concealer does feel like it needs a bit of setting god you cannot even see that that's a duochrome that is disappointing that's very disappointing okay so that's a good chunk of the makeup done what we have yet to do is obviously use the skin fix and the setting spray but we have a good chunk of it done so what I'm actually going to do now I still have to do my brows I have to put on lashes I have to do a little bit more face makeup because none of the rest of it arrived um so I will see you guys back here well in a second for you in an eternity for me so I'm back I've kind of done a little bit more of my makeup I obviously still have to use um this loose powder this luminous setting powder so I was like oh best do the rest I did a little bit of like contouring nothing major um tea again 
I put on some lashes, I put a little bit of liner down in the waterline. I didn't get any of the XX Revolution liners for that. But I'm gonna zoom you in on the eyes. You can kind of see, I wanna, I wanna let you see the duochrome shadow. Mm, we'll talk about it in a second. So you can see the full eye look here. I mean, I like it, but the thing is, it's very, very simple. And the duochrome, doesn't really function as a dual one. I'm gonna turn off the ring light so you can kind of see. It's still pretty much the exact same thing. Like it's fine for like putting a crease, but that is not a dual one. It isn't really functioning as that in mind. I don't think it's you know worth it. But this is the eye overall. I think it looks okay. I definitely needed to put my shadow there, but I don't know what it is about here and my eye never sticks and this eye looks quite different like much more put together i will show you it now with my glasses off please excuse probably very obvious indentations i mean i like it it's green so whatever but the duochrome mm -mm. no bueno so there's not very little for us to actually do we have our Luminous setting powder. I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this. The puff is so friggin' soft, like it, oh, it should be a crime. So I don't really use these things, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Right, I'm gonna take a little bit. Or a lot of it. No, just a little bit. Oh, no. I don't meant to use this. Don't like it if I don't make it use its instructions. And I'm just gonna smoosh it on my face. Is it that I just kind of. Unless I like, do that. No, oh, it's very difficult to see how I'm meant to get the product out. I mean, I wouldn't usually use like a powder proof, personally. Ooh, that seems to have kind of disturbed my foundation a bit. Not, not really what I would like. Do I need to maybe put a bit more there? Granted, now that's a problem area because you know, but McGee. Now it's so obviously a different color. It's not. Not fantastic. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really think a lot of that. Like, it doesn't really give me anything special. I'll try with a brush. Alright, let's try with a brush. So, I don't really like these. Things. Is that any better? Okay, well, the brush is a bit better. It's all a learning process, guys. It's all a learning process. She said as she took in a mouth of powder. Oh my god. Also, I put false lashes on. The ones that I have on, I wanted to go for very, like, relaxed, subtle ones there. The Eyelure Lux Solitaire. I like them. I wouldn't say there was anything wildly luminous about it. I would say I've got the room from foundation there from messing around with that puff, which sounds really bad, but you know what I mean. I have a lipstick here, it is not XX Revolution, but it's Maybelline. It's the um, Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Pioneer. If you know me, you know I don't really tend to use drugstore stuff that often. So this is a momentous occasion. Yes, this is the same tea that I started off with. I know, amazing. I will drink cold tea. Done. <laughs> That's how we know we're finished. Oh God, how do I, yeah. Like I'm just opening this now. So this is almost a first impression of this. Although technically it's an XX Revolution video, but like meh, don't judge me. <clears throat> it's red, so I'm happy. Unusual smell, like not unpleasant. Every time I do my lips, I'm like, one day I'll get filler. I 
I assume this is why, as children, we were taught to like color within the lines. What if I just left it like this? <laughs> it looks so weird. I like the Dofit application on that. It doesn't feel weird. It doesn't feel like uncomfortable. I like the shade. I mean, stuff always looks weird on my lips because they're um, a little bit out of balance, etc. Okay, I only have one more thing, and that is the um, XX Revolution Glow FIXX uh, Brightening Fixing Mist. So, let's have a little go. And also part of this is a wear test, so I will let you know when it is that I've finished this. Let's give it a little, a little shake, see? Here, you go back. I hope this isn't an aggressive spritz. That'll do. It doesn't smell unpleasant in terms of a spray. Where did I put my glasses? Covered in string. That's the day that I'm having. But yeah, that is that is the finished look. Uh, if you want to see what it is that I think of these products and how they've actually worn, then keep on watching because I will be keeping this on for the rest of the day. It is now 9.28. Don't judge me. I have a meeting in half an hour. And I will let you know how the foundation etc has worn throughout and let you know what it is that I think of each of these products. But I think you already know one or two ideas around that. But yeah, uh, that's it. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm checking in. It is now uh, 20 to 1 in the afternoon. Uh, this is how this is wearing. So we are three hours, 10 minutes in. I mean, there's no movement yet, but again, I have normal skin. Um, if you actually look, I wanted to get into the natural sunlight so you could actually see. So I'm going to go out into the direct sunlight and <laughs> possibly die a little bit. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like there altogether. I mean, I can't see because... Uh, <laughs> sunlight if you look close enough you can see the, the kind of the illuminating sparkle actually has a strange magenta like glitter or something in it it's very weird if I had known that I would not have spread it all over I'd have just used it as a highlight but it wasn't marketed as a highlight so it's a bit strange back inside now out of the direct sunlight that was just too much for me um that is how it's kind of looking you can kind of see it there um, but yeah, I mean, a little bit of movement there because I have a really bad spot, but you know, and I have some blemishes here. They're not showing up too badly. By the way, Maybelline, uh, that's a really darn good. You can see with the eyeshadow, not much movement there, but what I will say is you wouldn't know that this is a duochrome. Definitely. Yeah. No bueno, no bueno. But I will check back in a few hours just to let you know what I think. It's now at 2.30pm, so that means it has been five hours since I initially applied this makeup. And I have been running around and doing things, so yeah, like you can even tell with my hair, I've gotten all sweaty and whatever. Um, which is good, because it kind of gives us a general idea of how this is actually going to wear. So... Let's first look at a problem spot, which for a lot of people is the nose. I apologize for um, zooming in, but you can kind of see patches here, here, and here. Don't look at the spot. There, There's foundation missing from there. So definitely it, it's worn away. Um, also the... Excuse me. The concealer isn't fantastic. It's kind of gone a weird, like greyish sort of color. It's it's not wearing in the best way. Like it's like it's melted down or something. Um, 
in terms of how it's looking on the chin and there's a little bit gone there um, I don't think you can see or maybe it's gone now the the weird sort of sparkly you can kind of see it there that the the luster skin finish or whatever gave but yeah this is five hours of wear bearing in mind I don't have oily skin I have normal skin that's that's where we're at so I will check in again at half five uh, because that will be eight hours then and I'm going to take this off um, at that point because I have Zumba and uh, weirdly enough I don't want to Zumba in a full face of makeup by the way this lip I have had on since half nine I've had tea I've had toast I've had food and uh, I haven't had to reapply it so I know it's an old secret to a lot of people but it's the first um, Maybelline stay stay ink that I've gotten and I, I really like it this is driving me nuts it's driving me nuts <sighs> thanks ovaries you're very helpful hi guys I am back um so it is now 5 30 i have had this full face on for eight hours i am going to be taking it off because believe it or not i know i'm going to do zumba tonight uh with the fabulous beautiful elena it's what seven o'clock over here so it's like two o'clock or something over there anyways we figured it out but this is how uh the whole thing is staying on so i'm going to zoom you in so you can actually have a little look so you can kind of see I lost a bit around the nose. I showed you that on our last sort of check-in. But other than that, it's stayed together pretty darn well. Seems to be a decent shade match for me. Don't mind my wrinkles. And the eyeshadow has stayed on pretty well. While it's definitely not the most strenuous of wear tests, it's only eight hours, I think it does give a general idea as to the longevity of uh, this product. But let's talk about each of the, the products in isolation. I did use quite a few. I am still waiting on my XX Revolution order. Kind of regretting buying it via their site and not via Boots. If you are from Ireland, get it from Boots. It arrives quicker and you'll at least get your points. So this is the X Extravaganza. There are 66 shades in it. Now, I can't really say an awful lot about this so far because I only used one, two, three, three shades? Yeah, like three shades, right? And obviously three shades is not enough to form a distinct opinion. But what I will say is that I didn't have any issue with blending it. I think the color story is very, very nice. I like the packaging, it's quite, um, unassuming there is a lot in it but it avoids being bulky which I do like um, they didn't bother naming them they just gave them numbers um, yeah I think I think it is pretty I, I'm not sure about the colors that they put in as being like the big center ones I mean I understand why they have black in and the silver and the gold but the other three I'm not 100% certain as to why they were given more space than necessarily the rest. I do like this and I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit more but like I said that's only one little play. The next thing that I have is the XX Charged Duochrome eyeshadow. I had it in the shade Stimulate. Um, it's tiny, it's so so small and um, I was saying to my friends earlier, I have used lots of duochrome products. I recently had a giveaway on my channel where I gave away uh, Touch of Glam eyeshadows and uh, they were the Mega Dimensional Shifts and they are incredible. They're, you know, they're pricey. Actually, they'd be about the same price as, as these, right? But I was explaining to the girls that for me, like, Using the Touch of Glam uh, Mega Dimensional Multichromes or Duochromes, it's like driving a Porsche and then using this as like being given the keys to a starlet. Nothing wrong with a starlet, but I'm used to my Porsche. It's okay, it didn't apply badly, but in whatever light I was in, it wasn't clear that it was a Duochrome, it just looked like a normal shadow. 
So for me, as far as I'm concerned, I do not think this is worth the price. I also didn't bother picking up any of the pigments because I just don't think they're worth the price. Um, uh, Rebecca also says it in her video as well. There are lots of indie brands out there that you can support that will do the same sort of thing. K Rose B is a UK based um, indie brand and they do some nice pigments. I'm waiting on an order from them. So that would be an alternative. Um, the foundation, yes, let's get on to that. Liquid Skin Foundation in FX 0.05. It was a good uh, match for me, shade-wise. I did feel, I don't like the applicator. The applicator is weird AF, I do not like it. Do not like it. Um, the packaging, etc., very, very nice. Um, coverage is okay. I found I had to use a little bit more of it than I'm used to, and I was using my Bare Minerals brush, which uses very, very little product. Thank you, Rebecca. That was a birthday present from her. Um, I normally don't have issues with foundation coming off my nose. Um, and I and I have used this primer before, so you know, hence I didn't want to use anything new and I didn't want to bother getting any new primer if I'm 100% honest. So I did find it weird that it kind of went from here. Now, bearing in mind, I don't have oily skin. I have normal skin, not even dry to normal, just normal. Yes, I have aging skin, I'm 30. So the fact that it went off here, I found very, very odd. Um, can't say a lot about it yet, but mm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, entirely convinced. I also had the concealer, the Conceal XX Super Fix Concealer. I got it in the shade uh, CX 0.1 that um i thought it was a good shade at times it looked a bit weird in certain lighting but i think that was the lighting itself and not the actual product because the more i kind of played around and had a little wander around it looked fine and um didn't get into any fine lines uh didn't crease you know i'm still here eight hours later and it looks really in my opinion quite good so i was happy with that the next thing we have is the glow fix luminous loose setting powder this was very strange. This was very, very, very strange. Um, because, and I'm not sure if the camera picked it up. I have a funny feeling it didn't. But there were points that I was looking at my face that I had like bits of like magenta, like glitter or something on it. And it was all over here. And I was like, that is where I put the, the setting powder. Um, it, it's way, way too glittery to be a setting powder. But then it isn't luminous enough to be a highlighter. So I don't know what it is. It's so strange. I don't know how I'm going to use this. Um, it was marginally better when I used a brush as opposed to the puff that comes with it, although the puff is lovely and soft. I I wouldn't be happy recommending this as a setting powder. If you want a nice setting powder that gives you a little bit of luminosity that isn't wildly expensive, try the e.l.f. Halo Glow. That's really, really nice. I happily will recommend that. Um, and then the last thing that we have is the glow fix brightening fixing mist um th that was fine um i don't know if it was either the foundation or if it was the setting mist i do i i think it's packaged beautifully you know i i think the packaging is very very nice the sprayer wasn't aggressive i hate an aggressive sprayer said every girl ever um yeah i mean it was fine it was there was no um gross smell um the rest of my makeup seemed to stay on pretty well. It was just this bit here. So I don't know if that was either the foundation or if it was the setting spray or if it was a mixture of the two together. Um, but I'm not 100% certain. Uh, that's it in terms of the XX Revolution. I also had this on, which by the way, I haven't updated in the last eight hours. What on earth? So yeah, if you're looking for a really good lip that isn't, um, like it isn't wildly uncomfortable, it, there is still like a sort of a stickiness to it, like eight hours later, which is unusual. But like, if you're okay with that, then give it a go. That is it. Um, that is the whole video. I will be using more XX Revolution stuff because more things have to come. Seriously, XX Revolution. Send me my stuff. I'm waiting. I'm waiting at the door. So I'm hoping it will come tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. And uh, if not, then I will cry. And I'm, I'm, I'm an ugly crier, if I'm 100% honest. Um, do please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Because the more comments you kind of put under my thing, the more YouTube is like, hmm, maybe I'll suggest this video to people. And I'm like, oh, 
yes because you know as much as I like doing these videos and I like doing videos in general it is an awful lot of work and it is kind of nice to have a little bit of recognition um do please share because sharing is caring unless of course it's an STD in which case maybe don't watch my video and maybe like go to an STD clinic like maybe this isn't the thing for you to do right now like I'm just saying like, priorities uh, but that is it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.